Okay, everyone, welcome to Senior Strength and Balance. Uh, Nicole will be uh, speaking to us regarding some attendance issues, so I'm going to turn the floor over to her. Good morning, virtual audience. This doesn't apply to you, but you're tuned in, so feel free to listen, okay? But I'm going to step away from the camera, okay? All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, it is so nice to see all <laughs> of you, okay? I'm so sassy. And even though we really like seeing and having all of you, we cannot have all of you, okay? Registration was in June, I believe, the end of June, okay? And even though that's right, uh, I think registration was the 20th through the 24th or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, many people came to Benson and registered. Many people called and registered. And we got them in this class. And then many people called the following week. <laughs> I didn't know we had registration. And we still put you in the class. And then people called the third week. <laughs> and we still put you in, okay? And I'm, I'll be honest, and that was going against my instructor because she, there's only a certain number of people that she feels comfortably watching, okay? We have to watch everybody in here. If something happens to you all, people think I'm joking when I say nothing happens on my watch because it's too much paperwork. No. It really is a lot of paperwork when things happen to you all. And we have to answer questions. Diane, every instructor here has insurance. We have to have insurance. They have to have their own insurance that they pay for. It's not supplemented. They're paying for their own insurance. So they specify how many people they feel safe watching. <laughs> Even third week, even two weeks after registration, we still added people. But let me tell you what I also did last week. Last week, really Monday, I took Diane's sheet. She sent me an email. Nicole, I need some help. So I said, okay, Diane, I'm going to help you. I took last week's sheet, and every name that was written at the bottom of that sheet, I have added to this list. I have added. That means... You didn't register first week, second week, third week. You didn't even call me. You didn't even ask if it was okay. But I added you anyway. There are 50 people whose name is on this list. 50. Way over what Diane requested. Way over. I am asking if your name is not printed if you don't, if it's not printed with the computer, I'm not talking about you wrote and printed yourself. If it's not printed on the computer, I kindly ask, please, that this that you do not participate in this class after today. And I'm going to say after today because I don't want to embarrass anyone to see you walking up door the church, walk, walking out the door. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to embarrass anyone like that. But I'm kindly asking. For the sake of Diane, and we have to respect the registration process. If people can find time to come and to call, so can you. Okay, so I'm asking for the sake of registration, for safety, if you, if you are not printed on this list, enjoy today's class, but I'm asking if you please not return. If you have a problem, if you have an issue, if you are upset, come and see me. Let's talk about it. This is not Diane. I've already made Diane upset, okay? So come and see me. And then if we can't work it out, then we can talk to my immediate supervisor, Sabrina Hudson, okay? Uh, any questions, concerns, or comments? It's already, oh, only three minutes in. I can take one or two questions right now. If not, come to my office, and uh, I'd be more than be more than happy to sit and chat with you. Okay, Diane, anything you want to add? Is that uh, okay? No, I think uh, Nicole has said everything very succinctly. 
Uh, we just can't have people way out toward the doors, uh, grabbing the other chairs. I can't see all of you from this. That's a huge span for me to be teaching and talking and then watch to see that you're not injuring yourself doing something improperly. So, um, you know, ideally, like you just, if you follow the rules, we'll, we'll be okay. And also, this computer, you know, not only is Diane teaching you all, but she also has to cater and make the people online really feel as though, hey, I'm talking to you too, okay? So she's trying to engage the people online because there are people <coughs> tuning in. People do tune in online, and we have to give account for those people as well. So, and, and make them feel as though that they are part of the class. So while she's talking to you all, she also has to engage the class. So Diane is doing a lot. She's doing a lot of multitasking here, okay? So let's just be kind and mindful and considerate, and I'm pretty sure we can work everything out, okay? And, Again. and remember, too, if you can't come in person, you can join virtually. You can stay and view it from the comfort of your home. So it's not like you have to miss this class. You can tune in via computer for the rest of the session. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, so again, questions, concerns, comments, complaints, critiques, even if you want to share some bad words, come and see us. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone, good morning. We're going to start with our warm-up. So I'm Diane. I'll be leading you through this session. Oh, 
particular about the position of your hands on the weights. That determines what muscle group you work. Just a hair off if it's turned up like this or something, that's going to get a different muscle group. So our palms are going to face the floor and we take it out and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, other side and one, two, three, four. Nine, ten. 
and relax. Roll the shoulders out. All right, let's work biceps, weights in front, palms up toward the ceiling. Alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to drop the weights by the side, palms are up, we curl, switch, bring it up, down, and release, two, three, four, Should be talking to you by now. 
six, seven, and eight. Those are outers, but it's going to help prevent sciatica. All right, over to the other thigh, and lift, extend, bend, and down. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We lift and pulse. One, two, three, four.
lower her abdominals, and we'll use one of the exercises from the seat class, uh, but we're doing it with weights. So we're going to drive our car walking over to the side. All right, now we lift the leg, pull back in the seat, and dip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you didn't feel that, you need to be up here teaching. <laughs> Ready? Walk over. All right, other leg lifts. One, two, Try to lean back, engage the stomach muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, again, upper and lowers. Scoop down. Now remain down, but lift the arms above the head. Hold, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale. All right, now we're going to uh, do falling star. This is going, starting to go into our balance now. You can develop balance from a seated position. So we're going to stretch, open out. One, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, lean. One, two, three, four, in, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, one. This also gets abdominals. Three, four, in, two more if you can hang in there, and one, two, three, four, in, two, three. Four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. All right, sit at the edge of the chair, palms facing the floor. Some more balance work. We're going to go nose over toes, stand, lift. And grab the chair and sit. So we're going to do four of those, then we're going to switch it up so that it gets progressively more difficult. And bend down, nose over toes, stand, lift, and sit. All right, again, nose over toes, lift, and sit. Nose over toes, lift, and sit. Now it gets progressively more difficult by placing one foot in front of the other. So that's, uh, this is going to be a little easier for men because men carry their weight in the pelvis. It's a little more difficult for women because women carry their weight in the buttocks in general. Some do have pelvic weight, but most have it in the center. So when women get up from this position with one foot ahead of the other, the topple rate goes up higher. So we're going to pull the stomach in against the spine. You want to nose over toes to protect the lower back. Here we go, lift and reach and come down. So as you get a little better with this exercise, you want the heel of one foot even with the toe of 
the other. So that's really making it ahead of the other. All right, now your modification would be simply to keep the hands on the chair, push forward and up, and then raise up, and then grab for the chair and sit. Those of you that have the balance for it, nose over toes, dip, lift, Other side. 
you're a rock star here. Three and four. You do not want to fall. All right. Ready? Pull the tummy in. Slightly pitch the body forward. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. All right, take it back. Toe to heel. Toe to heel. Toe to heel. Toe to heel. All right, now we're going to add something. So we're going to put the weights down for this. We're all going to practice with the chair. This is difficult, so don't try to be some rock star with it. You don't want to be falling. All right. Heel to toe. Turn the head right. Heel to toe. Turn the head left. Heel to toe. Turn the head right. Heel to toe, turn the head left. Toe to heel, turn head right. Toe to heel, turn head left. Toe to heel, turn right. Toe to heel, turn head left. We are not going to go beyond that today. We're going to work up to that gradually. All right, now we're going to do our three-point turns again because we need to be able to walk, hold our balance on the sagittal plane, going front and back, on the frontal plane, moving side to side, and twisting and turning on the uh, transverse plane. All right, so we did really well last week with the three-point turn. Let's try it again, then I'm going to add something this time. All right, so I'm going to take my bag to you so we can all be on the same page here. We step out, turn the right shoulder back, face the windows. All right, 
sitting and standing. And a lot of people who have been sitting for an hour or more watching TV, which we shouldn't, uh, these little watches will remind you to stand. They bug you. Uh, and remember, sitting is the new smoking. So we not stand. And you have to be prepared to stand because when you've been sitting that long, everything settles and then you get up and you topple and you go off balance. Um, I've seen people slide off to the side and fall on their hip from just sitting and standing. So the balance that we're doing in this class is geared toward keeping you um, viable for activities of daily living. It's not going to be balance or dance or anything like that. But when you're out in a large space, your spatial awareness changes. So all of this stuff has to be in the brain, and it will kick in if anything happens. You would be surprised. So um, that's class for today. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Remember now, tomorrow, 9 a.m., flexibility.